Ukraine War, Sniper Kills Fixer and Wounds Italian Reporter in Ukraine. A tragic incident has occurred in Ukraine, where a Ukrainian journalist and fixer for Italy's La Repubblica newspaper, Bogdan Vidic, was shot dead by suspected Russian snipers in the Kherson region. Vidic was working with Italian reporter Corrado Zunino, who was also wounded in the ambush, which occurred near the Antonivsky Bridge across the Dnipro River. Despite both wearing bulletproof vests with press written on them, they were targeted by snipers. The bridge is located near the Ukrainian-held city of Kherson, which sits on the river's west bank. The incident has sparked outrage and condemnation from various groups, including the Italian government and Reporters Without Borders, which stated that eight reporters have been killed and 19 injured in Ukraine since Russia's full-scale invasion last year. Crossing the Dnipro River could be significant in future offensives, as Ukraine's military has publicly spoken about preparations for a major counteroffensive without specifying where or when it could be launched. The attack occurred despite the reporters passing three checkpoints and the Ukrainian military allowing them to proceed without issue. Zunino recounted the events, saying that he heard a hiss before seeing his colleague lifeless on the ground. He crawled until he got out of the line of fire, ran until he came across a civilian's car, and was covered in blood. He tried to call Bidek several times, but he did not answer. Bidek's death is a tragedy, leaving behind his wife and son, and highlighting the dangers faced by journalists covering conflicts. The newspaper stated that recovering Bidek's body was proving difficult due to Russian snipers in the area. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba has accused Russia of responsibility for the killing, stating that they don't care if you're Russian, Italian, or Ukrainian, they just shoot. Moscow has not yet commented on the incident. The Kherson region has been the site of ongoing conflict, with Russia claiming to have annexed it despite only controlling some of it. Russian troops destroyed the Antonivsky Bridge when they withdrew across the river from the city in November. Ukrainian forces are now reported to have set up positions on the eastern bank nearby. In conclusion, this tragic incident has once again highlighted the dangers faced by journalists covering conflicts and the need for increased protections for those working in such environments. The loss of Bogdan Bidek is a reminder of the bravery and sacrifice of those who risk their lives to report on events around the world.